many people have died in connection with Bill Arnold? The last, the dead. Oh, no, 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 no. I've, I've heard upwards of 330 something. I've, I've heard definite connections to 38. Oh, well, yeah, that's that we solidly know yeah, about. But yeah. then we can go into things like the plane that crashed outside of Moscow that had all those executives from Uranium One on it. Oh, gee, gee what a, you know. What a, yeah, I don't know, just okay. Hey, well, there we go. Look at this guy. All right. Well, Where are you guys from? L.A. L.A.? You wear that shirt in L.A.? Yeah. Come on over here, man. I saw, I, I saw your I saw your, your stuff with Antifa on it. I I do I do a lot of shit in L.A. Like I've, What do you do? What do you do in L.A.? Um, for work, I do printing, but I do like some, I do some right-wing political street What's art. your name? Steve. Steve, here. A, I've seen you online before. Oh, good. I've All right, that's a get out of jail free card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we we go after the left pretty hard. I was at Berkeley and all the riots fighting Antifa. Oh, terrific. <laughs> I broke my nose there. <laughs> do you do? Are you online? Do you do anything online? Yes, do you? Uh, no, not really. I'm pretty I was low in Berkeley key. in the '60s. I'm 68. Yeah, I was there. I was there fighting for free speech, cool. just like you guys. Were. Yeah, exactly. I was fighting the fascists. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 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 You listen to InfoWars, I assume? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I just won their Patriot Challenge Contest. Nice. Yeah. Well, that was guys, a little recognition. It's funny because years ago, probably up until like WikiLeaks leaked all the stuff from uh, DNC. Yeah. Prior to that, I probably would agree. I probably thought Alex was right on like 75% of the stuff. Like all the constitutional yeah. stuff. I thought some of the other stuff was a little wacky. And then I started seeing it coming out. I was like, wow, man. Yeah, I know. And it, it, it's scary because, uh, I mean, the more you go down this rabbit hole. He delivers it in a way that makes people think. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he, well, he himself says he's not a professional. No, he doesn't. You know, he, he, he's, he's a little hard to take for yeah. even the hardcorest. But I realize that he's pretty right. Oh, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing what you do, man. Yeah, you say the same to you. Yeah, well, all the fight together. I mean, this is, you know, this is it, man. This is it. I, I'm surprised right here. It's like everyone's hard part on the left, it seems like, right here. Oh, yeah. This is, well, every city, this is a liberal cesspool. I mean, this is, I mean, with heavy arts, so 85% yeah. black, a big gay population. So, yeah, I mean, I'm getting the same kind of flack I'd probably get in L.A. if I was, you know. People just... But people don't want to talk to you, right? They just talk shit and they walk by. Oh, yeah. that yeah, Very few. Every now and then I'll get one that's, you know, is actually there, grounded, and wants to question. And, you know, yeah. but for the most part, it's just... Insults? Yeah. yeah mostly, yeah. yeah. It doesn't yeah. last long. Same. same. Yeah. Well, I, I challenge them, of course. I go out of my way. If you go, go watch some of my videos, like a couple of the latest ones I put up. <laughs> Well, the last one was beyond stupid, and it was just these, you know, these cucks that came up to me and just started talking. I said, "Fine, let's have a let's have a discussion." Yeah. I'll give you ten to one odds because you just called me an idiot. So I, you know, I'm an idiot. I'll give you ten to one odds. I'll put up ten dollars to your one. We'll use the iPad. You will pick up the self. You know, you'll look it up yourself. Anybody says anything that thinks it's off base, we call, we look it up, and then I take your money. Let's play. They didn't want it. 99 out of 100 of them run. Well, because they don't, they don't really care about the data. They, the fact, they just care about feeling. Yeah, it's all feeling. Here, here, you're going to like this. This is my, I, I got to do this. I got to print this up. I just came up with this one. This is the uh, definition of a liberal. Thank you for that a little. If you, if you can find a cloud in every silver lining, you may be a liberal. <laughs> if you can gripe about getting money back from a tax cut, you may be a liberal. If you can complain about a rising economy, you may be a liberal. If you can block roads and call it progress, you may be a liberal. If you could think education and health care come free, yeah, you may be a liberal. If you think mankind has more effect on the climate than the sun, you're an idiot. And you may be a liberal. <laughs> if you think the end justifies the means, yeah. you may be a liberal. If your feelings matter more than facts, you definitely are a liberal. If you think that there are more than two genders, you're very confused and a liberal. 
And if you're cheering on Mueller, not knowing his history, you're a tool and again a liberal. Yeah. I mean, that's you know. The ends justify the means. I think. Yeah. I think that defines that. That ultimately defines leftism. Right. Yeah. Uh, they don't care if they can kill. If they can get to the utopia. Yeah. It's all oh yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. yeah that's no, pure no, communism. No, the train's got to run on time. Yeah. That's pure communism, man. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's ultimately what this ends up. Yeah. Man, uh, that's what they're. I I really think that it's probably. Hey, it was nice to meet you guys. Enjoyed nice it, man. All right. Yeah, I'll check out my channel. Subscribe if you want. Maybe purchase a thing or two, you know. Yes, sir. Help all Uncle Sam right. out here. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. I was saying, I, I think it's probably a bell that we probably can't unring in the big picture. I think I think that as far as the public goes, it's over. There's a lot of cynicism out here to expect that. And I would assume that would be true, but that the idea of this should not die, of course. I think it might be picked up somewhere else. I mean, even if this country breaks up into, uh, you know, yeah. it, it breaks up, there's going to be portions of it that are going to be still For sure. free. I mean, as far, I mean, as far as, like, the way that the government yeah. was intended to run, I don't think that you're going to be able to bring it back to a small republic anymore. It's yeah. so big and bloated that even most of the Republicans are fucking assholes. Yeah. But they're just as bad as the liberals. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> but they're, you know, pro-life. It's just the same thing. There's not very many of them that are, like, constitutionalists. Yeah. The older I get, the more I realize that I'm, like... I'm, like, you know... In, Anarchist capitalist, yeah. basically, just fucking leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, Same exactly, you, right? Yeah, no, exactly. I want the government to basically. I'm, I'm not so sure if we might not morph into some kind of a government where everything is. That's a, That's the government. Well, right there. The technology. Having your hand. Well, if you think about it, I mean, that, that, look at what Google yeah. and all these Amazon, what they're doing. I mean, they're. Yeah, yeah they're record they, they got all this data and they influence the government and everything. I mean, if you think about it, it's like you say you, you say something, and then someone goes along and goes, Google, look what he said. I don't like it. And they boom, I want to shut you down on YouTube. Or, you know. Yeah, well, that's been the big talk this past week. Of course, all the line, you know, headlines coming out. Uh, Project Veritas, of course, yeah. did there the deal. I know, James. Yeah, yeah. I, the obvious thing is they need to be broken up. They need to be like an antitrust, and they need to be regulated. No, like, but I, I struggle with that. You know what I mean? Because I'm a free market guy. I'm a freedom of association guy. So yeah, it's but like, it's getting to the point where they're they're like AT and T or a big carrier. Yeah. They need they need to be regulated to the point where it's illegal for them. It's like you know the phone company can't tell you what to say over the phone. They can't say, all right, we got to take. So they should, they, and they advertise themselves as an open. No, I know. Free guy. So right. you know, it's false advertising, and it you know, as much as I am, a, you know, anarchist and believe get the hell. There's got we, there's got to be a collar on some of these things. Because because because. If they would just let anyone say whatever they wanted, then you wouldn't have to do it. Like YouTube, you know, they're just shut. I have friends that are getting their channels demonetized. And, yeah. You know, Prager U's taking people yeah. to court over that. Yeah. Yeah, Rodney right. Stone's taking them because they took him off. They just took uh, the health ranger down, Mike Adams. Mm. Why would you take him down? Stupid. I mean, you Prager know, U, a big. Yeah. You, there's nothing that they've ever said once that's offensive. A five year old. It's watching. all education. I mean, really, it is. It's just cartoon education is what it is. Yeah, but that's it. I mean, that's why I, they're going to lose because... Well, they'll lose hard for it. Well, uh, but they're going to lose hard everywhere because eventually it's going to be whittled down to that, only that, that hardcore 20% that will be, you know, still believing in the dream because everybody else is going to go, wait, 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 this, what they're doing doesn't make sense they're i mean they're hypocrites everything like yeah. you say you fought again for for free speech in berkeley but so did i back in the day but it would now it's been flipped around there you know of course yeah and so it's it's going to be obvious to all but the hardcore program robots those and they don't count 20 25 percent of anything won't mean shit to a tree if even a small percentage of the 75% stand up. No, you're right. Just, uh, 
they're the loudest and they're the ones that control the media. So it makes you, makes you think that everyone's like all these crazy fucking dirty artists and weirdos. You come here and you think, well, everyone in Louisiana is like that. It's like, you know, probably just in New Orleans. But you get out into the there are areas where people are, are more down to earth. So like, in, like in California, there's a lot more. You get outside of L.A. Sure. and Frisco, yeah. it's mostly conservative. Well, then there's even, there's even pockets here, people here. I mean, I live here. And there's pockets here of, of conservatives, people who got their heads on right. You know, it's, it's just that, you know, per, generally speaking, prevailing is, of course, it's a little assessment. Out here, do you have, I mean, you obviously don't because you do this for a living, but a lot of people that you know out here, do they have to hide their conservatism? In, in L.A., it's like that. you got to keep it under wraps. Otherwise, you'll like, lose your job or things like that. I, I've heard that, and... And, you know, I, I guess that's on a case-by-case basis. I mean, if I was, you know, had a family, uh, and, you know, we're worrying about that paycheck, I, you know, that might be a governor. I always temper people with like that. I say, look, if you, if I can understand, if you can't get out there and do or say something, well, then contribute to the people that are. For sure. You know, support the ones that are. At least, you know, in that way you can fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's in a kind of a case. Yeah, there are people who told me that they're afraid to put a bumper well, sticker it's on. Ramped, but it's ramped up a lot more since Trump got in office. Oh, because, it's been ramped, yeah. Because, you know, I think that I think that there's a turning point when that Antifa kid punched Richard Spencer in the face. Do you remember that on camera? And the media celebrated it, you know, punch a Nazi. And as soon as that happened, and when the media, like, treats Antifa like they're legitimate... It changed this this whole the narrative. They've been calling for our deaths. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, they've been talking about killing us. Well, that's what I mean is that when a couple of things happen in the media, there's a shift in the culture yeah. to where now, you know, liberals feel like it's okay to to get people fired from their jobs because yeah. of what someone else thinks. I I probably have <coughs> I probably have. 15 friends that have lost their jobs yeah. because of Trump, and I know I know two people that lost their marriages. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, well, one of my friends, he's uh, he's fighting, um, trying to put him in prison for eight years for what happened in Berkeley. You know, Antifa showed up at his house multiple times, and it's straight up political persecution. Yeah, it's dude. It, and that's Berkeley. If though. we don't start seeing, because of our anger. Of course, there's a lot about not seeing any justice. I mean, lock her up was not a campaign slogan. We want to see some justice. Trump needs to actually do that. It wasn't just bullshit. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, this has fallen on him now. Enough talk. I mean, even if you go to the comment sections now and, you know. People are pissed. It, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, it, it's like even this morning. You know, gay we pundit or his bright bar. When are you? It doesn't matter. Another block, you know, Hannity, oh, gee, block, you know, boom, boom, blockbuster report. And all the comments were going, so, so, do something. You know, people are just pissed at just seeing the crimes and not seeing anything done about them. And then I talked to that guy last week who really deflated me. This is a guy from the Inspector General's office, 25 years in. This guy looked like, yeah, I mean, if you went to Central Cass and said, give me a federal agent, he looks like it. He, perfect. Got the little curl in front. He looked like Superman, you know, at Clark Kent. I mean, right, right out of comic books. And uh, him and his wife, too. His wife, you know, looked like a federal agent, too. And I asked him, I said, is he going to see her in jail? And he goes, no. I go, why not? Says, and because the system's too corrupt. Yeah, they, they I've been yeah, I've been beating my head if against. Trump could he would I think, but I mean, you just can't. I don't think there'll, there'll be too many roadblocks. I again, he personally himself, and it's been president about uh, more than a dozen times, could call a special counsel. He doesn't have to rely on sessions. Well, he'll probably end up dead before they even happen. Well, they're trying to kill him anyway. Hell, it's not like they're trying to kill him. Hell, they, they, I mean, there's more. Of a, I've had I've talked to four different uh, bodyguards for him out here, and uh, I mean they got layers and layers of protection in him that nobody knows about, and there's always a mess on this guy's life.
So, you know, I mean, he knew that. They just sent poison to his family, for crying out loud. He knew what he was getting into when he started this, and it would be bad. So if you're going to go into it, you know they're going to kill you anyway. Hell, well, let, let the truth be told, though the heavens fall. I hope what Trump understands is that, I was telling someone this other day, on the left, if you, if Obama makes all these promises, or Hillary, and then the people say, yay, we want your promises, and then they, they don't do it, those people still support them. On the right, if you make these promises and then you don't do it, the people are going to turn on you. They're not going to vote for you the second yeah. time. They don't give a shit. Yeah. I mean, They're, they are totally blind to the crimes that are being committed upon them. Bernie Sanders steals the, uh, you know, gets the nomination stole from him. They shrug their shoulders. I mean, there are a few Bernie people who probably had more scruples than, a, you know, than, than a hardcore Hillary people, but still, that, that, you know, it's like, how do you... How do you still back people that you know betrayed you? Well, it's it's cognitive dissonance. Oh, well, indeed. We know why. We know it is. It's a mental illness. They've been programmed. They don't call it programming for nothing. I mean, I talked to a mental health case expert out here, and I asked him, what in the world is seems to be creating this mass mental illness we're seeing, this group mental illness? And he goes, well, I'm going to give you an official story, and then I'm going to give you what I think is really going down. And the really going down part was like us talking. You know, yeah, the, the programming on TV, the prescription drugs, the uh, uh, the GMO foods, the vaccines, the nanobot technology, uh, uh, just a, 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 a gumbo, just a, everything. We're being attacked. Our minds are being attacked from all the fluoride, the water, you name it. So we're being attacked from like all six sides. And he says, there's been a massive increase in insanity and in people reaching the age of 18 and 19 now. And he, the, he's attributing this to the fact that it's like the first generation to get completely plugged in. In the crib with a screen. Yeah. 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 So... That's a good point. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we are, and you know, we're becoming robots. I was telling her, you know, there's these people that young the youth they they grow up and they're steeped in an online presence yeah. and they lose like their basic social skills yeah. and their whole life is just an illusion one dimension on it. You know, they don't have to they don't have to earn friends yeah. and accomplishments. They just add them on social media. Yeah. And now the latest I was I was reading about they're working on AI or te- AI technology that is, are making bot friends. So they, with the algorithm, with the total encompass of the megadata, they find out who you are and well, then make up imaginary friend. friends yeah. to steer you. So yeah, they can take a you know, hardcore right-wing kid and two months later he's fighting for Antifa. So they can literally brainwash by using artificial intelligence artificial friends online. There ha- there's hardcore Antifa out here. Oh, yeah. There is. I have some friends out here. I'm, I'm in, I mean, if you go to the Proud Boys, you know who that is? The who? Proud Boys, you know who Gavin McInnes is? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, so he's a friend of mine. So he started, oh, this, cool. he started this men's fraternity called Proud Boys. It's kind of like Freemasons of the Know Nothing, the Shriners. Oh, cool. He started it just for fun like a couple of years ago, and it blew up. So there's chapters everywhere. <laughs> we have chapters in New Orleans, in LA, New York, Australia, everything. And their basis is just we're proud Western chauvinists. That's it. And um, with a lot of us at Berkeley fighting, um, and there was, they've 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 fought out here and defended some of the statues out here. And I have friends, and they told me yeah. like, how Antifa is bad out here. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I, okay. I ran into... Did, did you see those guys walking by here, those gutter punks that just walked by here? Oh, they're all... Okay. Yeah. That, though, a, lot of, a lot of those are, are in teacher time. Yeah, I know. They, get, they pay. Them. I mean, they hang out right over here. I actually go over and have conversations with them. I mean, I because, you know, I know it, it's what's going on. They're getting paid to do that. Yeah. They're, otherwise, they're junkies. A lot of them are junkies, alcoholics. They, they couldn't give a shit. Well, you know, the, like, the gutter punks will get paid... But then there's actually a, a bunch of them who are just they got radi- their, radical yeah, socialists. Again, I, I ran into one here last week. He came over and started giving their me... Their parents are professors, shit like that. Yeah. 
But yeah, and the problem is with. <laughs> See, I, I catch them unawares out here. This is like not at a political protest. They don't. They're not. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not covered. They're not in their black block. Right. They're so they're com- you know, they're they're not in their element. Yes. This is my element. So I slice and dice them out here yeah. when I find them. You know? And uh, yeah. But I I can imagine one of these days they might pull. You know, I've been attacked out here. Coordinated attacks, but it was really punk kids that you know know what they're doing. You, you can carry out here, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's hard to carry it when you're Cali. It's really hard. Yeah. Are you out here every day? It depends on the weather, and my attitude, what else needs to get done. It's not like i got to punch a clock or anything. You know? But I try to get out as often Would as you, I me, can. Me and my buddy do a lot of right-wing street art. You've probably seen our stuff up. Here's see Unsavory Agents or Sabo. I've heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he was just advertising. He just had. A, he was just on Infowars. He just did an interview yeah. with Sabo. Yeah. Well, yeah. Me and I'm. Me and him do all this stuff together. Yeah. Well, now yeah, I'm real honored to meet you. Yeah, here. Yeah, so you can see, like, like we did the, the one we just did a, the, before. Before I left for here, I don't know if you saw the thing on the news where we did the. Um, I mean, he's he's one of my one of my closest friends. I mean, very cool. See if you look, watch. You'll see uh, where. Hey, the give him one of my look, cards. See, look. He just. Yeah. See. So this is this is him. So you can see all this. So this, we just did this one. I don't know if you saw those. Those billboards we took over in L.A. Did you see that? So, okay. So here's what we did. I'll show you. Uh, I got the video. Well, here I got the video. Um, so you can see this was this was me. This was at 4:57 a.m. in LA on the 26th. You can see me. <laughs> I imagine you have to do this mostly in that. We t- okay, so night. there's a movie out right now called Three Billboards. Yeah. It's out for an Oscar. And you know the premise: the lady takes yeah. over three billboards for her, her daughter. Yeah, I saw the movie. Yeah. So we we took over three billboards and went after Hollywood. And this is this, this is the first one we did. <laughs> 50 feet by 15 on Miracle Mile in LA. We did that one. Oh, baby. Um, this is a video after I just did it. It was huge. It was high up. Um, and then we did. I did this. We did this one a little bit later. See, I wore the hard hat and everything. <laughs> we we I rappel up there. We did this one. We all knew and still no arrests. Beautiful. And then we did this one. Name names on stage or shut the hell up. Beautiful. So we did that. We did, What day did we do that on? What? Tuesday night. Oscars were on Thursday. So we did it that way. So then, yeah, yeah so then it was on the me- Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It was all over the media because we knew the Oscars were on a Sunday. Perfect. Oh, here's... There's a picture of me. That's I'm riding the. You can see I'm putting it up. <laughs> see, we do that, or we, you know. So you've seen the stuff that Sabo does. So. Oh yeah, give him one of my cards, man. I, yeah, yeah well, I mean, I, I'm a big fan. Of course. Yeah, so he's uh, me and him are real close. You know, we, we do all this. Stuff. Like so, so all the times I went to Berkeley. Yeah. Me and him go together. Terrific. Just me and him. So, oh well, man, and man I'm honored friend. to meet some warriors, some fellow real hardcore warriors. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But yeah, so we, you know, there's. You know, the people in, and I know you'll understand this, you know, when you're in L.A., yeah. or whether it's Frisco, we have friends in Frisco. I used to live in Hermosa, Manhattan beaches. Oh, I grew up in Hermosa. Yeah. I'm Longfellow. Oh, terrific. Yeah, well, I, I, we had a place right on the beach, man. It was, like, unbelievable. It was like, yeah, it was a big old place. It was just all hippies. I mean, it was just another book. in the 70s or 80s? Yeah, late, late 60s, early 70s. Wow. Yeah, well, that was still when there was a lot of ice playing in the sand. Oh, there was, oh, I, I mean, uh, yeah. Well, it was, in, I call it the jelly oh, years, that. you know? And it was rocking. It was yeah, just going right. on. No, I the saying is, like, you know, being not a conservative in L.A., if you're going to do anything to move the needle, you have to be willing to really step up. It's hard to be oh, a conservative yeah. in these liberal enclaves. Oh, it's yeah. like Texas, everyone's fucking conservative. Just put a Trump sign in your lawn. Yeah. You can in L.A., so... You know, we, that's why I think me and my friends are kind of hardcore, is because if you believe in it out there, 
you got to be willing to step up. Yeah. So yeah, so we do a lot of you've seen we do a lot of the stuff we do the street art. And I don't know do what it. it is about here. Maybe it's because it's such a laid back place. Fucking lazy. And, and, and they alcohol and you know it's more of a and artsy. The DNA here. This place was was settled by Arcadians that were escaping oppression, government oppression anyway. Mm. So it's sort of like in the DNA it's here. Just be chill. And and Mardi Gras, if it's nothing else, is a huge fuck you fuck to you politics. To yeah. I mean it's all satirical about the you know, Arcadians that settled here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They were the original you know, settlers, so that's why there's this, you know, so there's a different attitude here about the government deeply ingrained. Of course, later on, there's the generations, you know, got programmed. You've got a, nothing but a bunch of, you know, Tifa left-wing idiots. Yeah. But, you know, I've been having a ball doing this because, as I say, I'm like I'm like floating around the punch bowl. They would, you know, they didn't expect they come here. What, what, what's that? You know what? They just think there's some idiots. Yeah. Really. And then there's nothing better that exposes them than putting them on camera. Because I mean, all they have is accusation, insults, yeah. and then when you ask them for evidence, it's always anecdotal. Yeah. They don't bring any data. Yeah. Um, what I want to do with this now that I that's funny I, I, I almost I almost before we did the billboards uh-huh. <coughs> I was gonna remember that's how we do inflatable Harvey Weinstein for the Oscars yeah. I almost did like a 50 foot inflatable Harvey Weinstein holding his dick on top of the Oscars <laughs> but I, I didn't have enough time what I want to do with this is I want to get screens on either side of here have it change. I want, yeah, and I want to have this. I want to make this a mobile media wagon. Solar panel up here. I got the battery bank, and then everything computerized. So if any, you know anybody wants, to, I'm having a conversation with someone, you know, hotspot, and uh, just show. You know what? Here's so so check, so I know I, I you know I before I had my printing business, I was a car guy, so I understand fabrication, electrical, and building. You could do it. <coughs> uh, <coughs> wait. When you when you're gonna choose your televisions, you're not, you're not gonna to want to go plasma. Plasma is better for color at home for movies. Yeah, yeah. They draw a shit ton of power, so you're gonna to want to just go LED, LED, LCD. Yeah. You know, and you can get backlight, backlight. Yeah, look, you could fit. You'll be able to fit, you know, two, probably two 270 watt solar panels. You run them to an inverter, so that'll give you 520 watts. You get, you know, three or four batteries. Might get, might get you through the day. Yeah, I've done it. I mean, I had them up there. I got some cheap solar panels from from uh, China and worked all right until the solar panels had to I had to get the film over them. Which come They're right better now. They, you know, you go on Amazon. You, I think you can get some two two hundred seventy watt panels for one hundred eighty bucks now. Yeah, yeah. I, I know the prices come down. Things have gotten better. Technology yeah, has gotten better, which is great. And I wanted now that I've gotten this, you know, the prize money from Infowars. I want to go ahead and do the How much makeover. You? Uh, Ten grand. Nice. Yeah, it's about half of what I need to get where I want to go. Though, I mean, to really do this properly, I want to. You know, it's going to. I need about twenty-five. To get this because I want to have it. I want to do stream and lights here, all the way around. So you know, I have constant, information. Yeah, yeah, information or just sayings or whatever. You know. And being able to live stream so I can actually have, like, yeah. have Sabo on one day. Or you, have you and yeah. Sabo on. Say, so today at 2 o'clock, this is, you know, through the street. And advertise that, and then people who know about it will come by and form a crowd. Other people will come by that don't know. Because this is the great thing about the street. This is wide open here. You're going to reach people that you never hey, can reach in any I think matter. if you were to not advertise the cameras and hide them, you would get ten times more liberals coming up willing to talk to you. They, they don't notice them anyway. They don't? No. Really? Most of them don't know. Most of them just see that and then... <laughs> you can get Trump derangement syndrome? Yeah. And then if they do see them, I say, well, what's the matter? You, your convictions are such that you cannot be on camera talking about them. What's wrong with you? Are they that weak? Yes. And they, well, you know, they run. So again, if I show them running, 
I call that my bullshit walking files. I have, I mean, I've got 850 something videos, man. Got probably another 800 I never even put out. I saw one where a couple came up and he was yelling, and then you were yelling back at him. And he came back a couple times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, it gets nuts out here. Yeah. It gets absolutely nuts. But I've never had anybody try to do anything physical to me. You know, not, Do you yeah. sell merch out here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I carry some of the prints with me. Uh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think if you have some shirts and stuff, people buy buy Well, on my site, you can get a lot of these designs on shirts. Yeah. You know, mugs and things like that. My thing right now is trying to figure out my marketing. How do I, you know, yeah, do the marketing part of it? Uh, I am. It's a bit different. Oh. You know, one thing I can tell you is that. <coughs> how you doing, gentlemen? Mo- yeah, most, you? most of it will be driven by social media. You'd be surprised how far you can get by paying 5, 10, 20 bucks on Facebook to do sponsored ads. And- That's, I'm going to start doing that. I'm, what I'm worried about now because of all the purging is will they accept my ads? And then will I be drawing a red flag? Will they, you know, I'm already running that edge where they might take me down. Well, they want your money. Yeah, well, that's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, just, just be careful how you list it. You'd be good. Yeah, oh, that's my good nice talking thing. to you. Oh, it's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure meeting you guys. And, good, you know, good luck with everything. Yeah, you Stay too. Safe.